Hello and how are you? My name is Mohin Dumbar and I welcome you to our 24th uh, lecture of Mastering uh, Flutter User Interfaces. In this lecture, we're going to design uh, shopping user interfaces or the common shopping user interfaces. As you know, we always do 40 minutes, so I'll start our counter and then we go straight into our today's business. Oh. A lot of things have opened. All right, uh, so we're going to design this first, how you can make such kind of a, a category user interface. And then after, we are going to do, we shall design the what? The product listing, uh, the grid product listing user interface. And then if time allows, we'll go ahead and design the single product details screen and then the rest you can do it as a what as a challenge so without wasting much time let's go ahead and start designing this all right so i'm going to go to our project and then create a new what a new section that i'm going to call uh, what i'm going to call shopping all right so in this shopping i'm going to put our first word our category screen Shopping category screen dot dot and then after I'll go ahead and create a stateful widget then go ahead and import and then I'll remove these ones and then I'll go ahead and connect this with our what with the main screen Okay, so let's go ahead and create another section. This section, we are going to call it what? We are going to call it um, shopping categories. Aha. Uh -huh. Then we are going to put there our clickable link. So let me duplicate this one. Put there. A screen and then I cut it and then come and paste it here let me go ahead and import the screen so this one that all right so now someone should be able to click to this uh, where is it anyway <laughs> is it saving shopping okay i have to change the name all right so when someone clicks here you should be able to get this empty screen so we'll press control and click there to go to that screen uh, so I'll go and start doing what? And start doing the category screens. All right, so we're going to begin by returning a scaffold. Alright, after returning the scaffold, so the next thing we're going to put the app bar, this app bar which we're seeing which has categories. So let me go ahead and put the app bar. I'll explain it. So in this scaffold it takes an app bar. So this app bar it has a background of what? Of uh, primary color. And then it has a status, I mean st system overlay, which has light and then uh the, the 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 what the status bar is what is the primary dark okay and then after or it can be any kind of color that you want then after we have the title which is going to be a text that i put here as category so i can put your style and i put text style and make it what color to be white all right so after doing that 
I can go ahead and call also my what my icons which are one is the leading the leading icon is one that will come here in front so let me go ahead and color it and make it white and then we have what you call the actions action buttons icons so this action icons you can also give it a color of white okay then we have also uh also uh, uh the menu icon here so i can put here icon color and make it white so that one will be white so by doing like that i'll have how created our simple app bar that you're seeing there i believe you can also be able to design such kind of what an app bar on your own if you cannot then you can watch the video very carefully step by step you'll be able to do what to understand how to do it on your own all right so after doing that the next thing you're going to put the what the body is going to be a single scroll child view so go ahead body single child scroll view okay so after doing that the next thing you're going to give it now the child so the child will be a column so this is going to be having a child and it's going to be what a column so column will take multiple children and then you'll have something like that then after you're going to go ahead and now put stack just first put um let us first put the alignment of cross access to be start all right so the next thing we're going to do we're going to put um stack as the first child of this column so put stack okay and then after this stack is going to take multiple children and then the first child will be this first icon here that you're seeing here so i'll come here and put um children of the stack so the first one is just a container that contains this image okay oh <laughs> i'm designing something else sorry i'm designing this category detail screen all right this one no problem we can begin with that one this one is it in a category shipping category card here i'm designing this one okay i can design this and then for you design the other one as a challenge sorry about that but it's almost the same i didn't lie anything okay so since you want now these ones to be in front of these ones so that's why i had to use what I had to use stack okay so after putting the stack so we put the image inside that stack okay we put the image inside that stack so this image is there with height of 200 okay and then width of infinity now you cannot write something in front of stack if there is no background that is separating it so i'm going to give a what a container so i'll go ahead and create a container container and i'm going to give it uh, a color of with opacity of zero of black with opacity of 0 0.4 so i'll come here and say it has a color of black and then you put with opacity 0 0.4 so we have some transparency of a range of 0 0.4 so after doing that i'm going to give it also height so it can have a minimum height and maximum height so i'm going to give it height and width so height is going to be the same as this one and then the width is going to be infinity also then we'll be able to achieve something like that so you can see that kind of dark color in front of it which is transparent so it means that any white word that you can write in front there it can be readable even though there is white behind it because of that uh, different transparency black color so it is just like a glass it is just like a glass okay so after doing that we're going now to go and align our content so i want to put this content so it's a align center so put here uh the child of this one to be aligned and then you make it what uh alignment of center like this okay then you go ahead and give it a child which is going to be this simple what this simple uh text okay so the text is going to be literally to be white okay so like this so it is nothing but white text of which you can also be able to style on your own 
okay then you'll have that text like that so after doing that then you're going to put some content here in front and they should be like coming on top here okay so i've this i've just done this top one which is having that okay so so i can collapse this container i can collapse this one all right so i come outside the stack i go back to the column and then i start putting the content okay so to put the content i'm just simply going to come here So next to stack, okay, and then I'm going to put what our grid of categories, these ones, eh? So this one is just a user interface that I made a little bit separate, okay? So it's going to have a category, and then it's going to be looping, and then put those categories in a certain what user interface. However, you can as well use the what you can as well add it there directly okay so instead of having it there you can just simply do what so this one has a transform of uh, minus 30 is that will enable you to do what to go on top there so i'm just going to have uh, my what okay i'm going to design these categories by just simply looping and then adding the icons that i want inside there so this is just a method that i'm calling so let's go ahead and create that method So I'll come here in the build and I create that method, okay? So this method, I'm just calling it, okay? It's called grid category build. I've just created it. Okay, so this method, I'll call it. So, I mean, this is just a content of what? A list of widgets. Now here, we're going to have our dummy category. So if you go to class of this category, it's nothing but a class that has an icon, an image, and then the title in brief okay and then here we have a dummy generator that generates for us the categories just loops and then generate for us the content that we're going to put in what in category okay so you can see this loop here so i'm going to create now uh, the method called get category so this method is the one that is going to be responsible for generating the what the categories and give them to me in form of what in form of a list okay so i can create this method here okay Right. Okay, so here I'm going to create now what I'm going to create our list of cut of products I mean of categories or the list of widgets then here you remember they are sending me the content so I'm going to look through this content as I design the category So I just create a simple loop. So this is a loop. And then it's going to loop until the length of this what? I mean, until the, 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 the length of the what? Of the category that I have here. And then when, when it is looping, 
I'm creating a row okay then after I'll have to return this uh, list of categories okay here so I return after the loop make sure that I return the list of categories okay so as it is looping I'm creating a row and in this row I'm put I'm putting two widgets here okay so this widget is under going to contain each single category that you're seeing here right so this widget is going to be here um it is this one it is just simply a design that is going to display this okay so let me copy it and I explain it okay so I just call it get item widget okay so it is accepting the shopping category and then it's just having a maximum of expand and then flex of one and then it is uh, having a child of card so this is nothing but what but a card okay so this card it has a shape of a rounded rectangle border and then takes a, a circular a radius circular of what of four then it has a background color of white and then elevation is two okay then after i give it a clip border of what of anti with the save layer and then i give it a child okay and this child i'm giving it a height of 140 120 and then i align everything to center okay and then i give the padding to 10 from each side and then zero from the bottom and then after i create a column this column here in as the main child of that of that container and then the first column the first section of the column i'm giving it the icon that has been passed to me like this and then the next i give it the what the title that have been passed to me so you can pause the video and look at that kind of widget so every time uh, we loop here every time we loop here we collect uh we collect the what the content and uh, we collect the content and put and add it in this what in this list of widgets then when i finish i return back so if i save i should be able to do what to get that kind of what categories so these can be categories that are coming from online from your online shop or something like that and then you'll be able to do what uh, to achieve something like that okay Okay, so I hope we are together. Where is my screens? All right. All right, so there I go. So you'll be able to achieve that in that way. So this is just a simple loop that is looping and then put this item in what? In these containers all right so uh, the next that we're going to do let's see a timer here all right so uh, so the next thing that we're going to do we're going to see if our time can be enough for us to do uh, the product listing so challenge yourself and do this one okay challenge yourself and do this one also challenge yourself and do uh, this one you can pause the video and look at it okay whereby this is scrolled in uh, this kind of okay so you can also challenge yourself and okay this one i've already done it together so i want as you can challenge yourself this one i'm going to do it uh, you can challenge yourself and do this product uh, widget it's just like the one that we just looked at but you can challenge yourself and do it and uh, give it we have already discussed how to do these things of expanding so go ahead and give yourself a challenge and see if you can do this kind of, art of product right i want to see our 
timer and see if the time is enough to do the product widget. Yes, it is enough. So, all right, let's go ahead and do now the product listing widget. So, I'll just come and duplicate this. product screen and then I'll select all the names or you can as well right click here and then say refactor and then say rename and then put a new name it will update all of them okay all right so after doing that uh, now the next thing that you're going to do you're going to remove this content that I put there and then just only leave the scaffold All right, so let's go ahead and now uh, put this one in our main route. And call it. products listings okay so we're going to design this product grid right, so let's go ahead and do so so if i come back here and i click on this I should be an empty scaffold. I should say an empty scaffold. So let's go to our empty scaffold, which is this one. And then go ahead and add that one. Okay. So products, this is just an app bar. So you can go ahead and give it background color. I want to copy the app bar that I've already finished. So we save our time. Just use this one so we can save our time. All right. Okay, so now after having that, then the next thing you have now we have we now have the app bar. Okay, so the next thing is now going to uh, design the content and uh, add it in our heart in our user interface. Okay, so the app bar is done. Now let's go ahead and uh, design this grid adapter. I didn't want to, sh to take you to the grid adapter. I wanted like just to show you a simpler way of how you can achieve that. All right, so All 
I need to give you a shortcut of achieving this. So I'll come here. The scaffold and then give child I mean body and put grid count I'll import okay so this grid count will be able to do what to do something like for us like this one okay so the first thing is that uh, it takes the number of the grid item that you want to put there okay So the cross axis count is going to be two per row. So two per row. So the other thing is going to be the scroll direction. It's going to be of course vertical. And then after we're going to put the child ratio, how spaced you want your children to be spaced and put 0 0.8 and then after we're going to put the cross spacing like between spaces in form of a width so i can put two then after you can put the padding how you want your contents to be between it so i put the padding of four and then after we're going to have the what the cross axis counting and make it to i think that already find it then after we're going to put now the items that we want to be in that what in that grid okay so these items are going to be just uh, a list of uh, widgets that we want to do what to be in that grid so we are going just simply to come here and put items Okay, so let's maybe design a function that is going to generate for us uh, those items, okay? So the first thing that we're going to need, you're going to need uh, getting the data that you want to present or a list of items, okay? So to get a list of items, we're going to come here in the build, okay? And then write, uh, okay, let's write a function here. I want to do something that is will be simple for you. Let's write a function of say get items because uh, some of you have told me that the adapter is a little bit complex or complicated. So I want to do something for you that is simple. So the items by default, I'm going to make them to be like a shopping product. Okay, so shopping product is just a class that has an image, the title, and the price. So you can pause the video and create this class so every time this function will be called it will be getting the what uh, the items from the dummy of shopping product okay this is the dummy that generates for us the images of what or products okay then after doing that maybe I can shuffle them so they cannot be in the same so after doing that now i'm going to design our list of items that we want to present okay okay so to design the list of those items i'm going to need i'm going to need first a single item okay that i want to present when uh, okay we are going to design a single item together but here the point is i'm going to let's say that uh, okay let's say that we're going to have now a uh, list of the widgets that we want to do what that we want to display okay so i can put here for example widgets okay and then i say items UIs or item UIs so the list that we really need to present 
So this is the list that I'm going to put here that are asking for children. So I'll put here that list. So I want every time someone builds this function, I mean this build up, this get item should be called. So I can put here, I hope you're not confused yet. You see, I've just written a simple code right now. So I want to call this get items here every time someone does what? Some Someone call this one. So every time I'm going, for example, to add a what, just to show you what is going to happen. I want to add here a simple a text. And then maybe I can put uh, the length of the item in that. And then I remember to do what? To update state like this. So you see, when it is built, I have item one. Every time I save, I have item two, something like that. And they're being saved. Okay? I mean, they're being displayed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be clearing the item. So before I do what? Before I add there the content. Okay? So I clear and then I set state. Sorry, clear. Okay. So the, if I do like this, I save, it should be at one there. All right. Now, let's go ahead and now do the logic of uh, adding the items. Okay. So to add the items, I'm going to look through these items that I've got from the dummy data, okay? And then add the other items in the user interfaces. So I just say, for each, and then I can add the items inside here. So after I've cleared them, I'm go ahead and add, for example, the name. For example, I add, so since accepting the widget, I can add their text and then add, for example, name. title so then go back and open this again i'm able to see the items all the items with their respective title okay so after doing that now we're going to see how we can now start adding uh, uh the content inside those items uh -huh. so we're going to get our uh, what our we're going to get, uh, we're going to design now a single user interface of a single item, okay? So you can call it maybe item UI, something like that, okay? So that is the one that is going to be displaying a single what? A single uh, item. So I can just simply come here and say it's going to be called item UI. The other one is capital, in plural, this one is in singular. And maybe it will be accepting a single product item shopping product item like that so this one will be returning what it will be returning uh, the widget okay that I want to design so if you return a container if you want to okay let's just begin returning by container so we want to return a container and okay let me call it now so instead of adding here text i'm just going to be adding a single item widget like this okay so after doing that So I have to open this afresh in order to see the new changes. Okay, so after doing that, and now the next thing that we're going to do, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, to do what is to uh, is not to uh, the next thing that we're going to do is not to start designing the user interface. Okay, so to design the user interface, so I've just created a container. Then we're going to give this container some padding. This is the interface of a single product or a single item. So I give the padding of alt 2. 
and then we put it we pass a card as a child and then after we give it margin and then the shape okay and then after you go ahead and give it a column since you're going to have content on top and content bottom so go ahead and give it a what a column child that's going to be a column so this column is going to have a what an image on top oh, sorry children <laughs> children okay the first child is going to be what the image is going to be expanded and then the image inside it So this image will be from this item here and then I give the width of infinity since the width is already defined and then I save. So by doing like this we'll be able to get a what? We'll be able to get our images like that. I hope you can see that okay. Hope you can see uh, a beautiful thing that you're building. Okay so after doing that I'll go ahead and add the container that's going to separate the two of five height and then i'll go ahead and add the row that's going to have this content and this uh, clickable menu so the row is just literally a row that is having the title and then next to it we have an icon that someone can click on okay so i hope you can see that so let me go ahead and instead of putting a row here uh, a title there i will put here an item and then i put that there so if i save so you can see how i formatted them if i save I come back and i open again i'll see my content is there with the title and then this thing that, that someone can click on to get more information or to do more actions all right, so after doing that, I'm going to put a height. Okay, so after row, I'm going to put a height of five. And then after putting the height of five, I'm going to put another row that's going to have the price. I mean the rating and then the price. Okay. The rating and then the price. Okay. So here, this is star rating. And then you have this one, have put what? item and then the price inside for it and then the colors right so after i can put the height on the bottom that's just 10 okay so this is a star rating you give it the maximum and then you give the rating and then uh, you give the color so you'll be able to achieve that one this is a package that we added so if i save and then i open again I'll be able to achieve a user interface that we are looking for okay so you have to do it also this is just a single user interface that we did and then this is uh, a grid and then with this specification and then every time this is building we are calling uh, this to do what to create it get it so challenge yourself please challenge yourself and don't just pause, I mean, don't just watch the video, but watch as you practice. So I have designed this kind of uh, a beautiful user interface. Okay. So you see, now the remaining thing is now to put the logic of connecting this one with the back end, and then you'll be able to create an e-commerce mobile application. So the challenge that I'm giving you right now, I want you to do the video that we've done. And then you should do this details product page because everything that is here we have covered. We've covered how to put the stars and ratings. We've covered how to design uh, this kind of app bar. So go ahead and challenge yourself, please. I've covered how to collapse and expand. All those things I've already covered them. So challenge yourself and uh, do them. Okay. So design this single product page. Pause the video and then design this one. 
which has can have expanding and then the rating is there or the reviews and then after designing that uh, uh, you can design also this uh, this not this one this one category list all right so with that much said that one will be the end of our today's video and our clock has already won uh, i recommend you that you don't just watch but watch as you practice all right we meet tomorrow in uh, other interesting uh, topics of flutter user interfaces have a nice night goodbye see you tomorrow but make sure you practice make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel see you there